Hi, Leno here from LenoFX.com. In this tutorial I'm going to show how to use the Animation Toolkit plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. This plugin allows you to create animations in Final Cut Pro 10 very easily. You can animate anything you want, logos, images, videos, icons, graphics, complex PSD files, compositions and etc. Let's see how you can animate a Photoshop composition first then a simple logo. Double click to open the PSD file in the browser, select the layers and press Command C to copy them. Paste them into the timeline, change its duration, open the titles browser and select the plugin's name. Here you can see all the options available. They are organized by category, in, out and through. The in elements are used to start the animation and the out to end it. You can use the search box if you know what you are looking for. After adding the in animation, create a compound clip so the animation doesn't affect the other clips. Go inside the compound clip and add the out animation. Now, just repeat this process to the other elements. It's a good idea to have the elements coming in with a time offset. I want the stars to move a little bit, so I'm going to use the wiggle element. Now I'm going to animate the rocket using the basic position in. Adjust the parameters in the inspector. Not all the elements have parameters available in the inspector. I'll add a slight movement using the wiggle. If you want an element to end early, just change its duration and the out animation. Now let's animate this text with the two lines separated. For that I'm going to use the crop tool and duplicate the text. Sometimes you cannot increase the duration of the compound clip. In this case, open it, change the duration of its content, then go back to the timeline and adjust the timing. Now let's add the out animation. Let's preview the final result. Now let's animate the logo. Add the in animation element, create a compound clip, if you want, you can adjust the animation speed by changing the duration of the element. Add the out animation. Now let's finish by animating the background and then preview. Two things to keep in mind is that some elements have on-screen control so you can change the anchor point's position and you can overlap the elements to get different results. The order here matters. As you can see, it's very easy to create animations in Final Cut Pro 10 with Animation Toolkit, even if you are a beginner level editor. You'll save a lot of time with this tool.
I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.